Okay folks, yesterday we learned that Iran is one step closer to building a nuclear warhead. And the same day they test fired a few uh, mid-range missiles. Well this morning they test fired two long-range missiles. Uh, they're really getting ready to cut off oil from the Strait of Hormuz, folks. That's really going to be a flashpoint um, and can set off war all around the world. We really need to keep an eye on this every single day. Taking a look around the world, folks, we've had some reports of H5N1 in both China and Africa. We had a two-story building collapse in Nigeria. And in Australia, we're actually having a strange outbreak of Murray Valley encephalitis, highly contagious and potentially deadly. And last but not least, there was a pretty bad landslide in Norway. They're actually having uh, to evacuate some citizens. I guess it's time to talk about this, uh, this object that's coming into the Stereo B HI2. Uh, folks, when this first came up, we honestly thought it was just a camera effect. Um, as you can see, you can see the background stars straight through it. It's, um, But they haven't updated this camera view in a few days. Um, this is very, very strange. I haven't seen this kind of image artifact before, so perhaps we need to start emailing and calling NASA and asking questions. Folks, we've had a couple of people ask us about this uh, apparent halo eruption seen on the Lasco C2 right here. Uh, it was a small one, um, but it was visible. But you can see here on the Cygnet uh, CME Evolution Enlil spiral that it wasn't pointed at Earth. Folks, the only thing we've had pointed at Earth in the last 24, 48 hours is this tiny little coronal mass ejection uh, that came out of whatever's left of solar active region 11386. Other than that, the sun has been completely quiet. Uh, for the last 20 hours or so. We do have a lot of those potentially unstable magnetic filaments pointed at the Earth, so we'll keep an eye on that today. Uh, other than that, folks, keep an eye on Iran. Be safe.